Dark Wait, magic. how come Claudia yeah. and Trina have badges and I don't? Because you were never intending to go to any of the cons with us. But if you go to one, we'll make you one. That's actually not true. She did go once. When? When? To the toy fair. She went to the toy fair. To the toy fair, see. Well, that's not what I'm talking about, but okay. No, she, she's tired. He's, she not, he's not going to be there. Oh, We're recording, yeah. Now that she's gone, I can talk. Oh, for God's sake. So right. that scene when they're in the shower, I Damn. just want you to know what. <laughs> no, I'm with you, actually. I was like, oh, an exciting moment. Nudity. I hope the alien gets her first. I can run quicker, I think. <laughs> no, got to outrun the alien, just outrun her. Yep. Well, that's exactly how they killed. Who is the gal in the fr- um, She's Jack's mom on Will and Grace. Uh, Nancy... Is it Nancy Cartwright? Yeah, no, not Nancy. Uh, She's also the one who vomited the, the seeds in... in uh, the, the she was, and she was in The Birds. She was a little girl in The Birds. Yeah, Veronica Ver- Cartwright. Veronica Cartwright. Yeah. That's the how she got killed in Alien. Was with the, the And they never showed it, but you're always like, where did that tail go? <laughs> and why is she screaming so loud? Isn't that alien rape? Kind of was. Gross. Well, that didn't happen in this movie. No, I it... I thought it was going to. What, they I'm did like, have just the t- in the first yeah, alien. In this movie, the alien tail comes underneath. Oh, it was a just was the tip pointed, moment. Just, it was pointed <laughs> just at the tip. Just the okay. 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 Like, this okay. Is not happen. What I don't understand yeah. is when Cartwright got it killed. Didn't happen. It didn't happen. Didn't happen. When Cartwright got killed in the first I was one, scared that it, was gonna happen. it implied that was going to happen. What I don't understand is why did the alien go tickle, 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 and then come back down again? I mean, think about it. She's like, ah, where the holy crap? She sees it. Like you think she should be dead. There's no way. Doesn't make any sense. It wanted it wanted her to know it was there. Hello. <laughs> well, you didn't you didn't hear that we were laughing at the fingering joke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that that's a whole new meaning to the fingering. Yeah. Put it in your mouth and I'll do the fingering. <laughs> Put your mouth. No. Put your mouth on it. Put your mouth here. Put your mouth here and I'll do the finger. I don't approve of any of this conversation. <laughs> Put your mouth here and I'll do the fingering. <laughs> that, <laughs> that was literally a line in the movie. And the only people that laughed were me. And on either on, <laughs> on either side of Jay. Perfect. Stop. Yeah. On either side of Jason, we're both just we just both just bust out. And nobody else in the theater laughed. <laughs> it was like, um, have you, so have you seen Friends? Do you watch Friends? Oh yeah, we watch it all the time. So the the part where they're at in, I think they're in Barbados, mm. and Ross is giving his speech, and he <clears> says um, Homo sapien and. Joey, Joey starts laughing. Yeah, it, it was like that. Mm-hmm. Like Joey laughing <laughs> at the Homo sapien part, mm-hmm. and like nobody else was laughing. Was That's exactly like that. what it was. Yeah. <laughs> but the best and part was Jay's like. He just stops. And he looks at. He looks at Rob. He looks at me, and he's like, "Wow, both of you." <laughs> I couldn't help it. It was funny. What do you expect? I was. It was just like they just put that in there just to. <laughs> They put that in there as a test to see who would laugh. But like how serious he was. He was Both of you. Here but here's the part that Jay laughed at. Toward the end. It's a fish keeper lady. Yeah. Toward the end, not even at the end, but toward the end. And when she finally gets the alien out of the airlock, with hitting, hitting it with the truck, and Danny McBride comes out there to find out if she's still alive, and all you see is this this drowned cat in a spacesuit pop yeah. up from the corner and go, I thought I thought of a... <laughs> I can't remember what it was, but I thought of a baby commercial where the where the baby's like in a tub and he's like just she's just like one looking around. Like, yeah, like, Jay starts yeah, laughing like, for no yeah, reason. Like, Jay thought that was hilarious. <laughs> that and the uh, and the um, the joke of John Denver. That's pretty yeah. much the biggest laughs in the whole thing. Yeah, it was the best line of the movie. Danny McBride absolutely had the best lines. Hey, sugar tits. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice, nice going, sweet dick. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that was the best line in the movie. Yeah, it's yeah. the delivery, not the line. Okay. <laughs> Few people give it's lines. Great, neither me nor Rob looked at, looked at each other. We both just laughed. <laughs> so it wasn't like I was laughing because he laughed or he was mm-hmm. laughing because yeah, I laughed. It was simultaneous. Like we both just were like... You can always count on Rob for the uh, nice big... I couldn't help it. At my head, I went there. Like. <laughs> okay, so Wonder Woman. You said you had something to say about that. I just don't understand it. Let's watch the trailer real quick. Right. Pardon? I'm looking forward to this a lot. I am not. <clears throat> this beautiful piece of I think it looks wonderful. 
And she was the best part of Batman Superman. Mm. No. Because, like, in any Batman, <clears throat> the bad guy is always the best part. Lex? Yeah. I agree. He went. He swung for the fences on that one. He really did. What's that kid's name? Jesse. Uh, is it Jesse? Edwards? Something like that, yeah. Yeah. But he, he did. He, yeah. he, yeah. Especially at the end. He did something different with it. That's true. Yeah. <clears throat> but I thought she was fabulous in, in that. And she was the only one there that was believable, really. As far as the heroes are concerned. I'm kind of really interested this is going on during World War One. Like, most movies just... They do World War Two, like Captain America and every other right. movie on the face of the earth. <clears throat> you know, I love Linda Carter so much. Uh, the UN had made Wonder Woman kind of a symbol of something, I don't know, and then they took it off because some people complained. And Linda Carter's response to that was, "Yeah, we're women. We have breasts. Yeah. And if you're going to complain that she's white." She said, I'm half Hispanic, and Gail Godot is Israeli, so is, you guys yeah. are idiots. <clears throat> Just dumb. Well, it's that whole... Yeah, I agree. What, the, the whole social white, justice warrior white, thing? White, it's called whitewashing now. Oh. Where right. there, there's complaints about uh, Iron <clears throat> Fist. Oh, well, He's you know. He's also a white guy. My complaint about Iron Fist is the show sucks. Yeah. We'll get to that in a minute. completely agree with you. We'll get to I, that in a minute. <clears throat> But when it comes to this Wonder Woman, I don't know if we're still watching this. I hope they score with this one because, again, not a fan of the last one. Uh, the, uh, what do you think of my suicide? complaints then? Huh? What do you think about Suicide Squad? Um, it was good, but they failed because <clears throat> they didn't go. Look, Deadpool, I told you guys this. Deadpool changed it, and Suicide Squad yeah. was DC's moment to step it to the Deadpool level, and they yeah. chose not to. They dumbed it down. Fail. I still watch it. Still but then it. Sony nailed it with Logan. And, and then Logan. Yeah. Well, but they you, they told you he was coming out with Logan and exactly what they were going to do with it. And he still. I enjoyed Suicide Squad. I thought it was good. I did too. It's, it's it's my favorite so far of the DC movies. But that's easy. Okay. You know, that's, my my point is, I didn't say I didn't like it. I said they should have gone R with it. I agree. Mm -hmm. I totally agree. Because yeah. you yeah. could do R with <laughs> Batman. Okay, but you know what? Suicide Squad is our next movie out. They're really all evil people. Go. A rated R Joker and Harley. Holy Do you see what I'm shit. That yeah. was their moment. They chose <laughs> to dumb it down. I thought as as decent movie, still liked it. Would have been, I think, probably over the top if they would have said, all right, yeah, we're going R rated That's with this one. That, that should have been their opening R rated been, movie. It would have been easy to R rated. Yeah, it would have been pretty simple. Yeah, You're Deadpool right. Deadpool set the standard. Deadpool and then Logan easy. comes out. That was. I loved Logan. Well, now that we just watched the Wonder Woman trailer, we'll get to Logan. Yeah, me too. We do. It's but, funny because okay, Jay and I sometimes it's just he and I doing this. We get up in the morning and watch Deadpool half the time. But, <laughs> but you know, with Wonder Woman, I'm 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 hoping DC finally gets some good writing in. Starts gets a good something. They should have done this stuff before they went with Superman versus Superman. That's, uh, that's what Marvel did. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I know, and we've said that before. Yeah. This they should have went with a Batman, <clears> so we understood who. Ben Affleck was as Batman, not just the random guy who shows up from here or there. It was just, but I'm hoping that this Wonder Woman, uh, this nails it. And, I'm, and she should be pretty good as the Wonder Woman. I'm pretty sure of that. What's your thought, Jay? Uh, I'm just not interested because I've, I've lost all faith in that whole storyline with Superman and Batman. Where did, you, where did it lose you? This new batch of movies or the old Batman movie? This new batch. Yeah, okay, I'm with you there. So well, Christopher far, Nolan, that's a so different far, thing. I've just so lost far. interest. Even the trailers <laughs> don't look that great, or even plot-wise, plot line-wise, the writing doesn't look that... All in, nothing interests me about it. It hasn't, hasn't grabbed me in any way. I think I'm, with Wonder Woman anyway, I'm in love with the setting. I think a lot. I think I'm, I really haven't seen that enough in our type of genre on uh, in the movies. And I'm really looking forward to that. I'm, I'm also part of me is because we're going. I'm going to take Lily to see it, mm. and we had such a good time at Ghostbusters. It, it, I want. I think it'll be interesting for her to see another strong, positive female lead. I'm kind of looking forward to um, what was it, Captain Marvel, as well with Brie Larson. That one's going to be pretty interesting. But of this year, uh, in fact, let me. You're right. I need to pull up a list of movies that are coming out. In the meantime, let's so let's hit Logan while I'm looking this up, because mm -hmm. um, I got to tell you. And I'm going to be, I actually started a blog 
and I haven't done much with it. I've done a couple articles with it, but I, and I reviewed Thrawn, the new Star Wars book. Um, but I, I'm going to talk about Logan because that movie, of any superhero movie up to this point, that is straight up an actual genre superhero movie, has the best chance of winning some awards at the awards season. If nothing else, Patrick Stewart should get a nod, a yeah. nomination for Best Supporting. Mm-hmm. It is amazing, that movie. But go ahead and talk, and I'll, I'll look up the list here. No, I'll agree with you. I thought... I like that they just kept it simple with uh, him, Professor X, and then the new the new character, which builds into the whole um, X twenty three. Yeah, which X Force, mm. or is it X Factor? X Force, isn't it? It's, <laughs> X Factor is that stupid X, show. It's, it's X Force, the <clears throat> new. Because yeah. I even read that comic growing up, and so this is built into that. And it's as you know, they're heading for Canada, which leads you to know that that's the next, Alpha Flight. Uh, yeah, Alpha Flight. Yeah. They're, they're, or maybe on, maybe it's Alpha Flight. I'm thinking Alpha Flight's the Canadian one, Canadian, the Canadian Avengers. Right. Wolverine that's, was on that. that yeah. yeah, and that's the direct. So you know that even though Logan's <clears throat> out, mm-hmm. that he'll probably uh, have some say in with the new, because he set it up for that next series of comic book movies for those those characters. Now I'll probably uh, when Lily gets here, I will go see Pirates. I, I do want to see that. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's just because I'm a I'm a completist. And uh, I still own all the Pirates movies. I do enjoy watching them because I can watch Johnny Depp do anything, especially be Jack Sparrow. I mean, whatever he's doing, I don't care. I can just watch him all day. But I'm hoping they kind of pull it out with this one. I'm hoping it's a little better, that more like the first one. And from the cast that I could see, it's a pretty good cast. So what's that guy from No Country for Old Men? Who's, no, yeah, I know you're talking oh, about. I forget his name now. But him is the bad guy. I think some of the scenes I've seen so far are pretty good. Javier uh, Bardem. Very good. Nice impressive <laughs> that's my dear but let's see so let's see what else is coming out here i'm just hoping with pirates and i'm pretty sure i'm gonna be right is it johnny depp is like i need some money because this divorce and they just, <laughs> and, and they just quickly wrote a script, mm. a script. I, I would agree with you except this is a cash cow for him <sighs> it is that's, that's it and that's probably the only reason he keeps but, coming back and disney but, for that matter and disney yeah. but it seems like there was no hype to it. It was just like, well, let's just do it. Like it was a six month job. Like uh, we're gonna write it. We're gonna write it real quick and this is probably irritating. not pay too much attention to what is actually going into it. Not saying they're not gonna care. Just kind of just shit it out. No, I don't know. I I stopped watching a little while ago of all those the pirates ones. Pirates. The last one I I recently watched. You ever watched Cinema Sins on YouTube? Mm-mm. It's a funny ass show. Okay. It's. They pick apart movies, like everything that's wrong with a movie. And the other day, they, they posted a new one, everything that's wrong with In Stranger Tides or whatever it's oh, called. Yeah, oh, my God. Cinema Sins is a great show. They're like my YouTube heroes right now. Funny as shit. But it, if you watch that show, you feel like you've watched the movie again because he points out all this stuff. But, yeah, it's it's pretty bad. That Stranger Tides one doesn't make any sense. There's a lot of holes in the plot. It was That one was forced together. That one felt like it was just slammed together. Oh, let's yeah. Penelope Cruz, let's give her something to do. Oh, she dress her in drag. That'll be great. You know, it's just really mermaids. stupid. Huh? Mermaids. Mermaids. Yeah. Oh, yeah, mermaids. And they eat people. <laughs> Pirate goes into boat. <laughs> Pirate goes into water with a mermaid, our mermaid. That's pretty much the way it went. And, oh, we saw the Transformers trailer today. Yeah. Yes. The last night. What is that? Yeah. Holy fuck. Can they stop, please? No, no, this no. is one of my most beloved, you it know. This going to be the last I'm, one, right? I hope so. I'm going <clears> to <throat> love this movie. Really? And, and here's why. It's the same reason why I love the last one. It's <laughs> pure entertainment. Like, Mark Wahlberg was pure cheese like he is in most of his movies. And why does he say okay it, after every sentence? We're not going to give up on Prime, okay? You know, he does that every right. sentence he gives. Every <laughs> the, line. The only, the only thing I'm disappointed <laughs> about, because they, they, bring back, they bring back uh, so how your mom the, for the me? major or colonel. He's probably a colonel. The, the, yeah, the military guy from the first but, one. But... The person they what? really needed to bring back was Ty Megan Dick. Mike, Megan Fox. Oh, yeah. I thought, you're right. I, I agree. Were... I'm, I'm like, those are your three <clears throat> heroes. Fuck that Shia LaBeouf dude. Yeah, fuck him. Like, he was a big whiner crybaby in all of them. But How she... bad is the movie if your solution to save it is to bring back Megan Fox? That's Megan... already a fucked up sentence. I gotta Megan tell you, Fox, though, she was great movie. in the first one. She, she was. was. Yeah. She was... She's she, awesome she in the was, first one. She was the hero in that movie. Yeah, yeah, but she... It wasn't Shia. She fucked herself in those movies, not... That's not, a different movie. 
So. <laughs> Speaking of which, what was up with Charlize Theron and the whole gay shit, the whole Leslie shit? What the hell was that? Atomic Blonde? Ooh, I can't wait to see that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. That was straight up like nerd porn right there. No, no that movie alone looks looks a lot. Of All fun. it makes me think of is Aeon Flux, and Aeon Flux was so oh, bad. Aeon Flux was uh, horrible. Yeah. Aeon Flux. What was the that, other one? That was the last movie I fell asleep. That she in. did. The uh, Violet. Uh, Ultraviolet. That was that was a uh, uh, Resident Evil girl. Um, Mila. Oh, Mila. Mila. That was Mila, and that movie was bad too. Yeah. We were we were in garage and Alan Flux came out and God Derek was like I've never seen it Derek was like hey it's out I was like okay cool let's go watch because you get to watch them for free I woke up and I looked around and nobody was awake in that uh -huh. theater and I mean we're talking a, a bunch of military everybody's just racked out I was one of them and I was like hey uh, no I'm out we which go. you think it'd be a slam dunk it's Charlize oh, yeah. in her like early 30s or late 20s just gorgeous yeah. in a and black latex suit exactly and it's Aeon Flux which was one of the coolest what what part of Man TV was that like Splash TV or something like that they had well, this series of yeah. it would yeah. be with some butthead it was all the animated yeah. stuff and Aeon Flux was such an awesome progressive cartoon this was whoa. it was like webisode before there was the web yeah. you know there were short little like five minute episodes yeah. That uh, never finished, and you're like, God, come on. Yeah, but, but if you watched it lately, it's, it's really good. It's no, still no, really it good. Was, it was good. They just like never like got to like an ending. Yeah. This yeah. one I think is neat because it's got kind of a female Jason Bourne with. Uh, I was thinking Jason Bourne with, too. Did you? What was the, there was a movie with? Have you ever seen the movie Night and Day with? Oh, uh, oh Kutcher. No, Night and Day with. Uh, or was that the Tom Cruise one? No, Tom Cruise. Yeah. I never have seen it. No, I just remember it's actually the, really good movie. Really? Yes, it was. Here, here's the problem. At, at, Go, uh, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, no, no. It's it's like Jason Bourne with a touch of Night and Day, where it's got the comedy. Because yeah. Night and Day was actually real funny, and Jason Bourne because it's just flat out badass. And I was like, I, I want to watch this, and I'm a big fan of Charlize. Yeah. I am too. Big who's fan. who's the guy that plays the kind of scruffy looking dude? He's also the new Mister or new uh, Professor X. What's his name? Oh. No, I know exactly. Like, yeah, because Ryan he makes the, the joke. Movie in, wanted. He, yeah, Ryan makes the joke uh, in Deadpool about which one are you talking about? McAvoy. Yeah, yeah. McAvoy. When he says, "I think I'm in love with you," and she's like, "Too bad," because it's like it's obvious, like you're not my type. <laughs> but here's the problem with that movie: John Goodman's the bad guy. Okay. He's the one that instigates because she's like, "It's somebody on the inside." Well, it's fucking John Goodman. <laughs> it's your boss. It's been I already know the ending. I already know who the bad guy is. I already know who. That's, that is Jason Bourne. That's the same same yeah. story. But it, it, exactly, yeah. John Goodman is the guy that's causing you all this all this pain. And in exactly. in Bourne, it was Cox. It was yeah. Brian yeah. Cox. Mm -hmm. One thing I really like about Charlize is that she's not afraid to look like crap. I was I was waiting after I Monster. Was say this too. Right? Monster. Like yeah. Monster, like she is not afraid. That, to mm -mm. that movie anything. tripped me out for years she's afterwards. Not I was like, to like look. <laughs> Like shit. Oh, she's she's the and Meryl Streep of that like, you know age like, group. She's torn up, and mm. she's just like, she's, yeah. I don't, Fuck it, I'm sure at least there. I, lo I love <laughs> that about her. Like, she's all have like, you seen me when I got my makeup? But on? like, she'll do these roles that <laughs> are not glamorous. Like mm -hmm. Monster. I couldn't believe that. Like, whoa, okay with just. I've always liked her humor too. One of the best things SNL it stuck in my head. When she, I don't know what year this was, it was at least five, six, seven years ago, when she was on SNL, she's talking about being South African and how hard it is to be yeah. South African. Yeah, and we're like, Jesus, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> but it was funny. The way she did it was just hilarious. Hot potato, hot potato. Oh, yeah. Her in uh, Breasted Development when she plays the, well, the retard. <laughs> I don't think you can say that. <laughs> I don't think I can say that anymore. What is it, midget now? I don't know. I have to lose track. <laughs> but anyway, so what else is coming out there? We already agreed we should have seen Baywatch. We'll we'll probably wait till that comes out on video and we'll, yeah, we'll do something with that one. Video. But <laughs> what, dude? This this Alien Covenant was so bad. It's gonna be funny though. It is Bay gonna be Baywatch funny. Baywatch would have been a better choice. It would have been. Well, now I know why they totally played so many choice. commercials because they were better than the movie that we we yeah. ended up watching. Well, Alien can just put Alien on there. People are gonna go to yep. it. Mm -hmm. No, I agree. Because yeah, Alien. As I've said before, Alien's one of the big five for me of the box sets, you know. That's what they're banking on with all these remakes, though. They don't have any new ideas. So they're like, well, if we just put out something that they're committed to, they'll go watch it no matter how crappy it is. But you love 21 Jump Street. You thought that was hilarious. Yeah, but not because I liked 21 Jump Street, the TV I show. didn't like Baywatch, either. <laughs> I never watched that. But now, Baywatch Nights, there's a show to bring back. Oh, my God. You remember that one? That was I so remember, bad. I remember it coming out. I don't it was that. Hasselhoff trying to be X Files. It was nuts. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. You're it right, was fucking right. crazy. Yeah, I didn't see that. 
That's exactly what it was. <laughs> but anyway. Oh, I can That's... picture when you say Baywatch Nights is Hasselhoff on the floor by the toilet in the paper. <laughs> Speaking of Hasselhoff, he made a cameo in Guardians of the Galaxy too. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. You told everybody you were <laughs> David Hasselhoff's kid. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. That was a funny joke. I it agree. And then, but it was a funny joke. And then like later all of a sudden... You he see shows up again. Yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> so he's in on the joke. Yes, exactly. <gasps> so what else this year? Oh, Despicable Me Three <laughs> is going to be this summer. Are you what? You done? No. You, you, <laughs> you gonna sneeze again? Maybe. Okay. Okay. What else? Well, this, uh, let's see. I, I'm looking forward to Despicable Me Three. Have you seen the trailer for that? Mm -mm. I want to see that. You haven't seen the trailer for that? Holy crap! It's funny. Yeah, it's it funny. Good, yeah. Hang on, I'll it look looks, it up. Yeah, the first one was good. Second oh, one. Let's good. go here. Third one. Well, that was Minions. That was different. No, no, no. No, Th no Despicable, Despicable Me 2. Two. Oh, yeah. I've seen Despicable Me 2. I like Despicable Me 1, but I don't remember I 2. 2 was funny. Second one was good. Second one was good. So yeah, 2 was funny. One will be good, too. Uh, Minions was horrible. It was just awful yeah, film. Oh, wow. I mean, you guys, you guys talked about it. Yeah. So. They're, they're side characters. You can't... Yeah, they don't work as a full... Yeah. You know. Well, the, actually, that movie would have been fine had it had a good villain. Yeah. No. I love that Christian Wig is back. Heist <laughs> music. <laughs> 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 Some kind of monster. Wait, that's not a monster. That's a man wearing shoulder pads. There's only one super villain who's fashioned <laughs> into quite that dainty. Great Balthazar Brat. Really cute. I love the bald <laughs> spot. <laughs> it's the hitty bald spot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. That sounds like Jay. I don't like this. <laughs> oh, she's great in the second one. Parker. Parker. Oh, that's funny. Stepdad. Stepdad. Oh, that's great. Daddy's home. Daddy's home. Oh. <laughs> 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 is that Steve Carell? Yeah. It doesn't yeah. sound like him. He's he, that voice of his is amazing with this. That's definitely him. No, I mean, that doesn't sound like you're a group. Oh, that's him. It's him. Yeah. yeah. That's funny. That's hmm. Yeah, that, I, I'm excited to see that one. Okay, I'll go see that one. Okay,